Justin, what's going on? Oh, just quarantined. Coming at you live from the from the quarantine trending show headquarters. Bunkers, our, <laughs> our two bunkers. We're just bunkering Dude. out. It is a uh, it is a weird time, crazy times here in the world with all everything going on with Corona and uh, but the but the show must go on, right, Justin? The show must go on, and there's there are so many talented creators who are creating some fantastic content. Not all of it center, uh, centered around Rona, but some of it is, and mm -hmm. it's hilarious. Yeah, seriously, it's like uh, I, I've. I've seen some fun ones, just about like knocking like homeschooling for people who normally don't, <laughs> and uh, people talking about uh, just like just the fact of being like we're ha we have to be inside and we have I don't know. There's some really good content which translates to a really fun trending list on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So first up, um, we have seeing germs and. Uh, uh, Mark Rober is this his is name. Mark Rober. He is a talented guy, and what he did in this video is he actually uh, went to a, I believe, a third grade classroom yeah. and sprayed or dusted their hands at first with this stuff that um, sticks to your hand, but it kind of glows under a black light. Yeah, so you can't um, see, you can't see it can't uh, see when it. it goes on. It's invisible, but it does glow. So it's yeah, it's awesome. And the teacher at the beginning of the day shook the hands of three students. And then uh, later in the day, he, he put the stuff on, I think, one additional kid's hand. Hmm. And by the end of the day, no, it wasn't even the end of the day. It was like by lunchtime. No, it was time. lunch, dude. Lunchtime. <laughs> he took a black light. It was nasty. Mm -hmm. Nasty. Man, oh, it I was, yeah. It was a trip. It was like, uh, I think, a couple things I want to digest here. So first is... Uh, it just goes to show how uh, how quickly something can spread, right? right. Let's say a, a typical, I, I want to say maybe there were 20 kids, 25 kids in that class, right? Yeah, yeah. He touched three kids, or excuse me, four kids ended up with it on their hands. And the teacher, right? right? Um, right. And by the end of lunch, so you figure that's a, you know, nine to noon, that three hour lunch lunch span or that span before lunch, the classroom was covered dude desks floor sink phones legos everything was glowing eyelids eyelids man <laughs> oh. <Mouths. laughs> the other okay so the other thing that i wanted to digest was like <sighs> did i just touched my face i just touched my face <laughs> That's in the video too. I he, know. he deliberately dusts his hands and tries not to touch his Ugh. face, but then um, and and he's you know he's putting his his hand over uh, you know under a shirt to scratch his nose and deliberately like thinking I'm not going to touch my face. And then at the end of I don't know 20 minutes, half hour, he black lights himself <laughs> and he's got it all over his face because we touch our face like 16 times an hour on average. But he didn't even realize right because it's just happening. You're just like you know you put your hand whatever. Um, oh. the other, so the other thing that I wanted to, to, was, was wanted to think about was, did he see that Corona was going to be a thing and then quickly oh, put this video yeah. together? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because schools right. were shut down real quick. Right. And was he like, uh, I mean, he is a genius. Like I wouldn't yeah. put it past him to be, you yeah. know, to see this coming, um, right. to be like, huh, I'm gonna make a video about germs, I'm gonna go to third grade class before they shut right. all these schools down. Like, did, right. is that what happened? Or or was this something that he had already created and already had the concept and was like, wow, this would be a fun one and it just happened to fit in. You know what I mean? Dude's a genius. I mean, there's a really well done documentary on Netflix called Pandemic, same thing, it just came out and it's like, how did you put this together? Right. This is quick. So. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I, he probably just turned it around real quick. Yeah, yeah, I would imagine. He's just, he's just so, so clever, so scientific. Happy to see him on the list this week for sure. Oh, so good. Don't touch your face, people. Don't touch your face. Yeah, don't pick your nose. Like that's a no-no. Just don't <laughs> pick your nose. Just glowing boogers. <sighs> Yummy. All right, coming up next on the list is Doctor versus Coronavirus Conspiracy Theories. And the creator on this one is Dr. Mike. And uh, first of all, I wasn't familiar with this, with this creator. Um, I haven't seen any of his stuff before, but this video hits trending and it's great. 
It's great. He comes, you know, he's, he's obviously a, a medical doctor, um, and he's just, he's just batting away at all the conspiracy theories out there, you know what I mean? Just being like, right. this is real, this is legit, this could be, this, you know, um, which, which is cool. Um, so yeah, like one of the, I think the biggest one for me was the, the whole bat soup deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which, yeah. Uh, which is very easily, I guess it just goes to show it's very, it's very easily we read a headline or we see a picture or something and then we just, we marry that as fact. And we're like, right. it started with the bats. That's it. It started with people eating bats and that's how we got coronavirus. And he, uh, he touches on that and he talks about how the photo wasn't even taken in China. It was a different, <laughs> it was a journalist yeah. in yeah. a different, completely different country just talking about the, the, you know, the delicacies that the cuisines of this particular country wasn't even China. Right. And so anyways. No, it's just important to listen to uh, the doctors and scientists on this one and the, not so much the media and not so much half of my Facebook friends. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I'll tell you, uh, last week I shared two articles about the coronavirus because I didn't feel and I still don't feel like people, some people are taking this seriously. And Facebook removed my posts. Really? First time in my life, a, a terms of service violation. And I was like, oh, that's weird. And I, I could dispute it, but I didn't. Anyways, I woke up this morning with an apology notice from Facebook. Oh. They're like, hey, we messed up. We messed up. But um, it, it's important. I'm glad they're on top of it and making sure that people aren't spreading fake stuff. Right. Um, but listen to the experts. Listen to the experts. And it's as simple as that. You know what I mean? Um, and I find myself now more so than ever yeah. when I'm having conversations with anybody, e yeah. including my wife, um, and she shares some information with me. I'm like, where'd you read it? Where'd you hear it? What's the source? APA format. Give it to me. Like, yeah. What's <laughs> yeah, seriously. Seriously. You know, I, I got a text from someone the other day, yesterday, and it, it was a post from the Ring neighborhood app, and okay. it said... Hey, just want to let you know that my sister's coworkers, friends, parents, sister's coworkers, friends, parents. Yeah, right. Okay. So, th so talk about sources. Uh, someone knocked on their door with guns, said, "Give us all your food and toilet paper," and put the family in the corner of the house and um, took all that stuff <laughs> and left. And the family's like terrified. And I'm like, well, your source isn't very good. Go back to what you just said. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm like reading this, like, dude, your sister, like, what? Why didn't they post this? Anyways, thankfully, it was turned out to be false. Uh, but uh, you, you need the good sources, man. Yeah, <laughs> seriously. I think uh, I think in any pandemic situation or any anything where there's <laughs> chaos happening in the world, it could real it could snowball real quick. So let's real just quick. let's stay grounded. Let's make sure we're. Let's make sure we're getting the facts. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, next up is a video by a dude called Caleb City. Uh, realizing you're in the wrong house. Oh my gosh, dude. Listen. Uh, after this video, after this podcast, I hope everyone goes to Caleb City and watches this video. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to spoil it, but I got to say, the way he cut the hot dog... <laughs> Dude, I have been doing that for years. Not with hot dogs, but like, like if, if one of my kids is like, hey, dad, can I get a piece of that? I'll cut it in the weirdest, <laughs> even way possible just to freak him out. It's the best. Yes, dude. It's the best, dude. And his, his feeling on like all the germs that he sees yeah. people doing, oh my gosh. Just getting dude. stressed out. Oh my gosh. Stressed out. And uh, yeah, the hot dog slice killed me, dude. I was dead. And then, um, what's the next one? Oh, someone flushes and he doesn't hear the hand wash. He's like, hold up. What? Hold up. <laughs> and then he goes to his, his uh, the other room to get his keys. And he sees dude wearing shoes in Amen. bed. <laughs> so, it's so good. It's dude, so good. It's so it's good. So good. You want, like, good, just good, like, bite-sized comedy. The best... Check out Caleb City, but the best part is that he is every character in yeah. his in his videos, right? It's just him. 
And um, we're not talking like green screen splicing, like all this no. stuff. He's like no. handheld in this in this frame with one shirt on, handheld in this frame with a different shirt on. And he it's writes, so good. he makes these things. It's so funny, man. So funny. Good quarantine, uh, good quarantine humor just to check out Caleb City. Uh, well, and I gotta tell you, my cutting things uh, started out. In high school, I'd get some Taco Bell, mm -hmm. and I'd eat a bean and cheese burrito, not like long ways, but width-wise. I'd just eat it like this, like corn uh -huh. on the cob. Dude, you freak people out when you do that. They look at you weird. I think, I think I think this week, well, <laughs> for the foreseeable future, as long as my kids are home, I'm going to start. I'm going to start uh, <laughs> dishing their plates. They're like, oh, you want half? Yeah, man. We're just going to tacos lengthwise. We're going to do hot dogs lengthwise. We're gonna, I don't know. If they want you to like cut a piece of bread in half, stand the bread up like this and try to <laughs> cut it. Be like, dude, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Is it this pretty thin? Are you sure? <laughs> That's all you want? <laughs> Too so funny. Okay, next one here on the trending on the trending list is Julian Solomita. Let's make bread together. And. <clears throat> Julian, of course, is uh, Jenna Marble's thing, right? And um, they live together and they have pets together and all the things. And he, uh, he does a lot of cooking stuff on his channel. Uh, but was, what was unique about this video, man, is that given the climate and given everything going on, and he says this, he's like, I, didn't, I couldn't sit here and like, make a video that was like, super produced and, like, and, and he's like, I would just feel and just act like nothing's going on, I would just feel weird. Yeah. So it's very, uh, it's very raw, it's very kind of bare bones, but he makes, he's like, let's just make bread. Let's just do, let's make a thing that like anybody, you know, most people will have these ingredients at their house, let's just make bread. <laughs> but then his, he's, he's a gluten-free vegan, <laughs> so his bread's oh. a little more complicated. Yeah, yeah. Than what he was most adding people. things into that that I was like, what is that? <laughs> so, um, so anyways, it was just a, it was just cool, you know, they, they break away, they film the dogs, they film, you know, it was just kind of like, hey, we're all home, let's just, it, it was cool how we just kind of, you know, made it a little more raw, just kind of bare bones on it with, yeah, with the video. Yeah, and the, you know, life, life is different right now, and I don't know how long it's going to be this way, but like, I don't know, like, my wife baked bread yesterday, and she hasn't yeah. done that forever. That was nice. Right, yeah. um, uh, not only is all the laundry done, but the laundry <laughs> room has been mopped. <laughs> Who mops the laundry room? You know, like, oh, things man. are, you know, we hit the e-brake real quick, and we're just doing things a little differently. Um, we played a board game as a family. We haven't done that in a while. Yeah. So, it's rough right now, but there's, there is opportunity to kind of, I don't know, enrich some relationships maybe um, yeah yeah absolutely it's like those uh that quality time is priceless you know what i mean and yeah. uh while we might be living in some forced quality time make the best of it you know what i mean and yeah. like and yeah. truly just like like enjoy yourself and and freaking mop your laundry room floor why not seriously seriously <laughs> dude, dude real quick do you ever see have you ever seen one of those uh reality shows where they're in a prison and they show like the day in the life of a prison yeah yeah, yeah. right Dude, there's two kinds of prisoners, man. Well, there's probably many kinds, but two kinds that stick out to me are the ones that work out and like make the best of their time and uh -huh, get ripped, uh -huh. and then the ones who get super soft. And when all of this is said and done, <laughs> which one were we? You know what I'm saying? Like, it'll be oh, interesting. Man. Yeah. Next up is a video by Marco. I died. I died, man. It's called DIY Five Minute Crafts for When You're Bored. <laughs> and this guy, dude, he is hilarious. Dude, uh, he's cool. What was your favorite? Do you have a favorite clip from this? <laughs> um, My favorite clip was probably um, probably the stress balls. <laughs> Making the stress balls with the balloon. Just classic stress ball, right? Uh, regular old balloon. Fill it with flour. Uh, and then you and then you uh, put another balloon around it, and then you can like cut one to make it look like a turtle shell. Um, it just his co his comedy. The kid I think is in high school, man. Are you serious? I think he's in high school. If you what? see him mentioned, he's like my school shut down. Hmm. And I, I checked him out on Instagram because we we tweeted at him or sorry we we tagged him on Instagram last week um, yeah. or the week before. And um, I think he's young, man. 
I think wow. he's a high schooler. So, um, anyways, it's just, it's just a fun like, and he's doing this. He's doing these in his room, right? The bedroom right. of his house. Right. And right. like, uh, I don't know. It's just so much fun. Which one did he like? <laughs> what did he said? Good thing I have a banana tree in my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> With like red duct tape. <laughs> oh man, or when he spray paints the things that he spray paints, he's doing it on his deck. He's painting <laughs> his freaking deck, man. He's painting it. It's amazing. See, that's, that case in point, he's a total high schooler, right? Oh, Doesn't think about putting paper gosh. down. He's like, let me just spray paint. Oh but, my gosh. Yeah, the, the tree thing was just so, dude. <laughs> It was so funny, and like obviously he's making these crafts. He's like all of us. He's stuck at home and he's trying to he's trying to make a video of like DIY crafts you can do with items you have at home. <laughs> freaking banana tree. He's like, now I happen to be fortunate enough to have a banana tree in my backyard. <laughs> and then, dude, the banana wasn't even like green. It was like it had black spots on it. It had been sitting on his counter for a week at least. <laughs> yeah, that's so, so good. good. This last one I want to. This last one I want to touch on. Conan O'Brien. Conan's toilet paper life hacks. <laughs> Conan is a different kind of funny. He's like, um, he is so unique. Like of all the guys who have a have a show between Kimmel and Fallon and all them, I feel like Conan just is a just has his is so unique. Has his own yes. flair, has his own like right. style of comedy with the hair flips and a lot of like <laughs> loud words and all the things. In this video, Conan is is talking about all the different things you could use for toilet paper if you happen to run out. <laughs> My favorite, and it's actually the thumbnail. My favorite is the, the CBS receipt. <laughs> If you've ever been to CVS, oh, Walgreens so is the long. same. You buy, you get, you have two items in your shopping basket, man. Dude. Um, let's say you have some, like you, like, you know, breath mints and a and a box of tissues. You're gonna get a six foot receipt with that they, like, purchase. They space every line for some reason. <laughs> you save trees if you. They tell you, they, I mean, they spend they spend twelve inches telling you how much you saved. On right. those two items, right. and then right. they're like, "Here's what you could save with these coupons." <laughs> uh, but like, he lists off so many things that you could use as toilet paper. Peace I mean, marshmallows. <laughs> <laughs> he gets to peeps and he stops. He's like, I'm, "These just these actually <laughs> didn't work as well." He's like, "I feel bad for the peep, oh, the poor oh chicky." <laughs> it's amazing. Just a it's good, amazing. a good laugh, a good, seriously, like the lightest humor with Conan. And and I don't know if you noticed this, but whoever's holding the camera, maybe it's his spouse or somebody, was like, oh, I like did not. trying I to hold. Again. Dude, you have to watch it again. It's so subtle, and you can kind of hear it, and and you can tell the chemistry between them. Is kind of like you know what? Because he he gets rowdy sometimes telling a yeah, joke, he does. especially yeah, with he the does. baseball cap. <laughs> but you can tell the person so with good. the camera is like, mm. so funny, <laughs> so funny. And it's you know what? It's really cool to see all of these late show or all of these hosts just doing their thing from home, right? Right. They're trying to, right. they're trying to provide some entertainment, some normalcy, um, just to keep things going. And uh, it's really cool to see Jimmy Fallon doing a show from his house and his daughter and his dog and like everything's written with crayon, like all the, <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's really cool. Kimmel's doing the same thing. Stephen Colbert, like everybody. Um, right. It's just really fun to, to see them all doing that stuff. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's so funny. I love it. I love it. Oh man. So good. That was a solid uh, list there. That Mr. was Eric. fun. That was fun. This is, you know, given this unique situation, we're doing this from our houses. It's still, we still did it. Um, and there's still, there's still content out there. There's still things to watch. And uh, <laughs> the bandwidth might be, might be uh, slowed, might be a little more pixelated <laughs> as you're watching, <laughs> but it is, uh, it's still there. So yeah, this was, this was fun, man. Thanks for, oh, thanks for, for sure. doing this list. 
Yeah, for sure, man. Uh, I'm excited for next week's list, and it'll be interesting to see if we're still doing it um, over computer, not face to face. Time we'll, will tell. We shall tell. see. Time we shall see. will tell. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much. Please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, podcast listeners. If you're sitting there on the podcast, we would love a, uh, a review. Five stars are always what we go for. Isn't that right, Justin? Always. Always. Like at the bottom of a CBS receipt. You know, they want that rating. They want that review. Mm, mm. Full circle. <laughs> Full circle. Six feet of paper. <laughs> All right. We'll Thanks. see you guys next time.